a person has two independent investments A and B available to him. So a person is having two different investment options. Either he can open a coffee shop or he can open for a garage. OK, two investments. If you are having two investments, there are certain conditions for that. OK, but he can undertake only one at a time due to certain constraints, but he, he is having constraints. That means some problem. OK, he is not having too much of money to start two businesses at a time. There are some conditions so he can do any one business at the beginning. He can choose a first and then stop. So what he can do is he can open a coffee shop business and uh, he can go happy with the coffee shop business. Or. The second choice is. Or. If A is successful, then take B. OK, suppose he start a coffee shop and he is running it very successfully, so he can make some profit from there. If it makes successful, then he can go and open a garage. OK, because he is earning too much money, so he can go for a second business or vice versa. Vice versa means the other way. First he can open a garage, he can earn a lot of money and after it goes successful, he can go for the coffee shop. OK, so there are three things possible. One is he can go with first business, any one business. He can open a coffee shop, do the business happily living or he can do for a garage business, earn money happily living. That is only one business. Second, what is option? After the A is successful, he can start the second business. It can be garage or it can be coffee shop. The other business he can start and he can go on that. So these are the options available to him. Now we are giving the chance. <clears throat> the probability of success of A is 0.6. The first coffee shop business will be successful 0.6. That means 60% it will be successful. OK, the while for B it is 0.4. That means if he's starting a garage business, it is success rate is 40 percentage. 40 percent he can make a good profit. OK, so this is the probability is given to us. Both the investments require an initial capital outlay of rupees 10,000 or 10,000 rials, whatever it may be. OK, so uh, if you want to start that business, either a garage business or a coffee shop business, you should have 10,000 units of rupees. But both returns nothing if the venture is unsuccessful. Please be careful if you are starting the business. If it becomes loss means completely loss, completely zero. OK, so you put 10,000 reals in the business. If you go successful and if you think you want to have a second business, you can start. But if the first business is close. Last means complete money 10,000 real come to zero. OK, you cannot even sell the scrap also. Successful completion of B will uh, successful completion of A will return rupees 20,000. OK, the first business coffee shop if is going successfully 60 percentage, you can get a return of 20,000 reals and successful of B will return 24,000 that is overcast. Overcast means how much money you put more than that you get 24,000. So you put 10,000 reals first, then additionally 24,000 you will get it. OK, so these are the start uh, available options for him. Now there are two things we want to decide. First thing is first what business we can start. OK, suppose. The first business is going very successful whether we can go for the second business or not. OK, so these are two decisions we want to make it. So what we will do is we will draw a decision tree for that. OK, so read the question. Draw decision tree and determine the best strategy. So how we can work our business. So this is a very, very simple diagram or simple decision. Now let us see how to draw the tree for this. OK, look at this tree very carefully. Uh, so this is the tree. Now look at that. This tree we are having two different types of shapes. One is this rectangular shape, OK, like this shape. We are having rectangular shape here. The another one is a circular shape. OK, this is a circle here. So these are the two shapes we are having. So sometimes we are having rectangular, sometimes we are having circle. OK, don't change the shapes. 
I tell you what is the meaning for that. If you put a rectangle means that means you have to take an action. You should make a decision. So you should say what to do. Whereas if I put the circle, this we are not having any control. This we are not having any control. OK, sometimes it can have success. Sometimes it can have failure. For example, if you are opening a coffee shop, OK, so that is purely your decision. You can open for a coffee shop, so you can put a rectangle for that. After opening a coffee shop, whether the business will go successful or failure, we don't know. OK, because it is driven by the market. OK, who is coming to the shop, whether they can make your business successful or whether they can make your business failure. OK, so therefore when I make a circle here, the customers are making decisions on that or the society is making or the environment is making decisions for you. OK, so this is not controlled by the manager, not controlled by you. OK, now let us start doing the tree. So. We have two options. Either we can start the business A or we can start the business. OK, so put these two lines. Next. Well, let us concentrate only this side now. OK, once you start the business A, there are two chances possible. It can be successful or failure. OK, only these two things are possible. If you start a business, it can be successful or failure. If it is successful. Now you should make a decision. What is the decision? Whether we should go for the second business or not. Whether you should go for the second business or not that you should make the decision. So I put the rectangle here. Make it two branches. OK, so stop means you are not doing second business. B means you are doing second business. Once you start the second business again, you put a circle that means now it is based on the decision of the customers. It can be successful or failure. It can be successful or failure. OK, so these are the uh, first three. First, you are making a decision here. So this is the first place you are making decision to start a business or not. You start a business and uh, we don't know whether it will be successful or not. So it is successful unsuccessful OK, you means unsuccessful S means successful. Once it goes successful again, we have uh, a choice of making a new business. So you are going to make a decision. You are going to make a decision whether we can start a second business or not. You are going to make a decision here. It's a second business or not. So either you can live with only one business. That means stop. OK, don't go for second business. Stop only with the first business. OK, you can run the first business only or you can start the second business. So when you're starting the second business again, we don't know whether it will be successful or not successful or unsuccessful. OK, then coming to the second part of this, uh, you can start a second business. Uh, this this business OK, that is a garage. You can start first. It can be successful or unsuccessful. If it is unsuccessful, you will lose the money if it is successful. Again, we have to make some decisions. That means whether you can start a second business or not. So already we start the B business. Now we can start the A business. OK, once you start the A business again, we are having an option of it can be successful or failure. OK, so this is the tree diagram for us. So all the possible things we have put it in the diagram. Now. Let us calculate it. So what are the profits for us? So how to calculate this is listen to me carefully. Suppose uh, I'm making this is the A business B business. Successful rate is 0 0.6. This is given to you in the question and successful rate is 0 0.4. So here also successful is 0 0.4. It is given to the question. So if you start the B business, successful rate is 0 0.4. If you start the B business. Unsuccessful rate that means one minus this number. So 0.4 coming means 1 minus 0 0.4 is 0 0.6 and here 0 0.6 one successful one minus it's a complement event so you can put one minus here 0 0.4. OK, now 
here also if it is a successful so this is a b business now okay so this is a b business b business success rate is 0.4 and unsuccessful rate is 0.6 and a success rate is 0.6 and successful rate is 0.4 okay so these are the things we have done it now let us come to the cost calculations cost calculation is look at this first what the question saying is if you are running the business successfully the b business you will get 24000 rials okay over the cost if this is unsuccessful the 10000 rials will go off it is minus 10000 initially you put 10000 no that is go okay so it is minus 10000 so this is for the business b and for the business A, if it is successful, you can make 20,000 reals. It can make 20,000 real. If it is unsuccessful, again, you will make minus 10,000. OK, so these data are given to you in the question. Where is the question? The question is here. OK, so success rate will be rupees 20,000. Success rate for B is 24,000 and unsuccessful nothing okay so look at the values unsuccessful it is nothing okay if a is successful a is successful means you get a 20000 if b is successful you get 24000 okay so these numbers we are taking from the question and putting it OK, so initially you are putting the 10,000. If it is nothing means this 10,000 will go. That is minus 10,000. OK, so based on this data, we come to these calculations. So we have done this 24,000. We have done this minus 10,000. Again, 20,000 if it is successful. Last it is minus 10,000. OK, so these are the numbers we have done it. Now let us track back the calculations. Very simple. So how to calculate this 3600 is very simple. 24,000 multiply this number plus minus 10,000 multiply with this number. OK, so 24,000 multiply 0 0.4. OK, so I show the calculation here. 24,000 multiply 0 0.4 minus 10,000 multiply 0 0.6. How much it is coming? 3600. OK, so. 24,000 0.4 minus 10,000 multiply 0 0.6. It is coming 3600. Now, if you are stopping, that means you are not going to get any money from this part. So it is going to be zero. OK, because here there is no business. So if you are not doing any business, you are not going to lose the money and you are not going to get any money for that zero. OK, coming to this part. Same calculation. This 20,000 into 0 0.6, this minus 10,000 into 0 0.4. Okay, so you will get 8,000. Okay, look at this calculation at the node 7. At this point 7, the calculation is this 20,000 into 0 0.6 minus 10,000 into 0 0.4. It is going to be equal to 8,000. Okay, so these are the values we are getting it now. So we have come up to this level. So we are here now. So when you are here, now we should make the proper decision what we can do. If you start a new business, you will get 3600 rupees profit. If you are not doing anything, you will not get any money. If you start the second business here, you can get 8000 rials. And if you are not doing anything, you will not get any money. OK, now we'll track back to this node. When you're tracking back to this node, OK, so listen to that. If this is successful, we get a 20,000. OK, this is given to us in the question. If the business B is successful, A is successful 20,000. If the B is successful 24,000, OK, this data is given to you in the question. OK, now this 3600, it is coming from here. OK, so add this number to that 20,000 plus 3,600, 23,600. OK, now if the business is unsuccessful, 
it is minus 10,000. So the initial amount what you put will go to zero. If this business is also unsuccessful, the initial amount what you put will go to zero. That is minus 10,000. OK, so but second time when you start a business, there is a chance you can get 8,000 rupees profit. OK, so at this node 24,800 minus 10,000 minus 10,000. This is 23,600. So which is best? So this option is best here and this option is best here. Now again, let us track back. So what is the track back position for us now? This 23,600 multiply 0 0.6 minus 10,000 multiply 0 0.4. OK, so this multiply with this and this multiply with this number. Finally, add the values when you are adding 10,160 is coming. OK, so what is the calculation? So 20,000 plus 3,600 into 0 0.6 minus 10,000 into 0 0.4. It is coming 10,160. So please carefully use the calculator and calculate the values for them. OK, and second thing here 24,000 plus 8,000 that is into 0 0.4 minus 10,000 into 0 0.6 add these two values you get 6800. So how it is calculated 6800 this value 24000 plus 8000 multiply 0 0.4 plus minus 10000 into 0 0.6 equal to 6800. OK, even you can make this values as um, plus. OK, so all the values are here plus only in the middle. OK, so therefore this is the last one. So what is the value? Finally, this is the value we are getting it. 24,000 into 0.4 minus 10,000 into 0.6 is coming 6,800. OK, so what is the meaning for this 8,000? What is the meaning for this 8,000? Please understand if you start uh, this business, OK, the only you do the business here, you will get 3,600. And what is this 10,100, meaning? If you start the business A, after getting success, if you start the business B and you are getting money from here. OK, so this is giving 10,160. Suppose if you start the business B and if it is successful, start the second business and it is giving the business of 20,000 rupees here. OK, so therefore totally it is giving 6,800 benefit. Now look at only these two places. OK, so this place and this place you can look at which is the biggest number. This is the biggest number. 10,160 is the biggest number. So when you're coming back here, it is only 10,160. So that is the best choice here running this business and after that running the second business. OK, two businesses when you are running over the cost, you are getting a profit of 10,160. And if you do the second business, it is not proper. So draw the double line here. OK, from here to here, there is a double line. OK, so here this is from here. You should take this decision from here. You take this decision. Therefore, these are the two decisions we should take it to maximize our profit. OK, so write the decision finally. So the final decision is going to be it is decided that the best strategy is to accept the A and then undertake the B after A success. OK, so this is the final decision we are taking it. It is coming from this point.